Welcome to Furniture Flip, which we're gonna call a spin-off of the Home Reno series, which, you know, I know it's been a while, more content is coming, but I wanna filter in a couple of other things here and there. So, Tyler and I have lucked into a lot of free or cheap furniture, which is amazing. We love nothing more than getting things for free, but the pieces that we've acquired aren't exactly our aesthetic. They're not exactly, they don't look exactly how we want them to. So we're gonna be giving them a little bit of makeover on the cheap. Today we're gonna be making over this storage bench, which originally actually came from my parents. It used to be in their house and my mom decided she didn't want it anymore because she put something else in the spot where it used to be. And actually she gave it to Tyler like years before we even had the house and he saved it for this moment. Here's the plan. We have been trying to get away from this knotty pine yellowy wood color and I know you guys you guys know what I'm gonna say you you, you already know it we're gonna paint it white <laughs> we just it just looks nice it just looks nice but we have a ton of leftover stain from the stairs if you guys aren't caught up on the home reno series I will link it down below you'll know what I'm talking about if you've seen them anyway we have a ton of stain left over so this top flap which opens we're gonna store like shoes and stuff in here, I think. I'm going to sand it down and stain it with the stain from leftover from the stairs, paint the rest of it white, and it should be good to go and it should look great. So, also since it's a beautiful day, I'm gonna do this outside because if you guys did watch the video where we sanded the stairs, I said that we were never gonna sand anything again inside. So we're gonna sand this baby outside. Since I'm only staining this very top board, I don't need to take the whole bench outside. I just need to take this piece. So I'm going to see if I can take it off. It shouldn't be too hard. Let me get, get the drill. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you. There's no need of that. Okay, so Tyler has decided that using a screwdriver is gonna take too long, so my first experience using a screwdriver with an actual bit on you it. You mean a drill? A drill. No, yeah. <laughs> you used that before. No, but not for an actual, like, screw. I've used it with a little sandpaper thing, but I've never actually used a screw. This is, a, this is the first time. Well, I think you're going to be falling. Slowly easing my way into the world of power tools, people. Okay, here we go. Break my drill. I'm scared. Nice Ooh. and easy. I did it! You can go a little faster with the trigger there if you want. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So I picked up this sander at the thrift store for $2.99 and I guess we're going to see how well it works. It's hot and the flies are crazy. It is, but I think it's going to take a long time. It's like just, it's like just barely working. Pieces of plastic falling apart. Things probably falling apart. Whoa, what happened there? Now I know why it was only three dollars. <laughs> Watch. Doesn't move anymore now. This doesn't move anymore. <laughs> well, three dollars well spent. <laughs> My sander from the thrift store um, copped out after two seconds, so now I'm using Tyler's metal grinder, which is what we use for the stairs, um, and it works really well, so hopefully all is not lost.
so I got the stain on the seat of the bench and it's looking really, really good. I'm very pleased, very much in love with the color. I think it looks great. And now it's time to put a little sealer on it. So the reason why we're doing this inside is because the sun is almost gone and this takes a couple of hours to dry. So I didn't want to leave it outside overnight because bugs would probably stick to it. So I'm using polyurethane by Minwax Fast Drying Clear Semi Gloss. That is the vibe. And now we wait. Okay guys, welcome to day two of working on this bench. This morning I put another coat of polyurethane on the seat part of it. So now I just have to wait 24 hours for that to dry before I can reattach it. So I'm hoping that I can finish painting this today and then tomorrow put it back together and put it back in its rightful place. So um, before I start painting this, I'm just gonna give it a quick sand so that it's a little bit scuffed up. with a coat of primer. We really don't have that much primer left, so we might only even get, we might not even get one full coat of primer, I don't know, but this is going well. Like I'm almost tempted to just do this. Yeah, I think that's what I will do. Okay, I think that's gonna do for the first coat of primer. So I'm gonna leave it like that and let it dry and then come back and do another coat of primer. I know it looks bad right now, but it'll look better, I promise. Well, I can't promise anything, but I hope it's gonna look better. Okay guys, so the primer is looking good. I did two coats now and I think that's probably good enough. So, plus there's pretty much no primer left. So I'm just gonna go in with the Psycho Pro Pearl Base 2 paint. This is what we used on the mantle in the back and it looks amazing. So hopefully this is gonna kind of match that. But yeah, I think it's looking pretty good so far. Obviously it's not like full coverage because I've only gotten two coats of the primer. I'm hoping I'm only gonna need two coats of this, but there's a chance we may need three, maybe even four, who knows, just depending on how well it covers. It's coming along, it's coming along nicely. from watching a really long video of me just painting a bunch of coats of paint on this. I painted two coats on the back and three coats on the front just because the back didn't really matter because it's gonna be against the wall and the front is the part that everyone's gonna see. So I just wanted to make sure it was like all even and coated well. And now all that's left to do is put the top back on. So I actually only filmed me painting one coat a sealer on here, but I did put two coats. It looks really, really good. Obviously, I have to screw it back in, but that looks nice. Doesn't that look nice? I like it. <laughs> when the sunlight shines on it, though, you can see that it is very gougy. Oh, yeah. Like, there's a lot of, like, that is not flat at all. Like, when you're looking straight down, it looks flat, but then you look, you look like this, and you can see all the dents in it from the sander, because I didn't do a very good job, I guess. Did my best. <laughs> 